All right, guys, chapter nine, review number 12. Again, this is review material. This is um, going back to logs. So we are trying to solve these log equations and we need to remember our properties. Remember that subtraction becomes division as we write this as a single log. So the goal is to write this down as a single log and in doing that, we apply our properties. So let's just go off topic here for a second. Let's go back to our exponent rules. If I have x squared divided by, no, let's make that an x to the 12th divided by x to the fourth. I wanna simplify that, that you're thinking, where do I have more x's, top or bottom? I have more x's on the top by eight. So what math operation did we do? We did subtraction. So this becomes x to the eighth because I'm subtracting 12 minus four. Well, since logs and exponents are inverses of each other, if I have subtraction of two logs, it goes to the division of the pieces that follow the words log. Okay, so I'm going to change this to a single log because I cannot solve a log problem until it's written as a single log. The logs don't just disappear. Okay, you have to write it as a single log first. So it's log base four of seven over X equals two. Now, if I had logs on both sides, I could um, ignore my logs and solve what I have left. But I don't have logs on both sides. I have <clears throat> log on one side. And so what undoes a log? Changing it to exponential form. So we're going to swoop and loop. Okay, so we start with the first thing we get to, which is the four. So it's going to be four to the exponent of two is equal to seven over X. Well, four squared is 16. 16 equals seven over X. Treat this as a um, proportion. Put 16 over one and cross multiply. So I get 16 X equals seven. So X equals seven sixteenths. Okay, let's take a look at part B. So part B, we're working with natural logs. Okay, how do I know that? Because our base is E. So E and natural log are inverses of each other, just like base 10 and log, L-O-G, are inverses of each other. Okay, so we're going to start by isolating that term with the exponent. So add nine to both sides. So I get e to the three x minus one equals 22. And I, I have to, um, uh, I want a natural log both sides because natural log is going to undo my base of e. So let's natural log both sides. And in doing that, I'm allowed to bring my exponent down to be a coefficient. That is another property that we've studied. So this becomes 3x minus 1, natural log of e, equals natural log of 22. Okay, and this is a uh, no calculator test. So um, we're going to just leave our answer in terms of natural log. I know that natural log of e is 1, and so I'm going to add 1 to both sides. We're trying to solve for x. Add 1 to both sides. Whoops, let's go back to the green color. So I get 3x equals natural log of 22 plus 1, and divide both sides by 3. So natural log of 22 plus 1 all over 3 would be my answer. All right, have a great day. Hope this helped.